Well, this was an eventful weekend for wrestling. From CM Punk's return to Becky Lynch bearing Bianca Belair to Samoa Joe winning the NXT Championship to Ilya Dragunov versus Walter, holy shit, that match was so fucking good. It's safe to say that the wrestling gods have been absolutely spoiling us. And that's just from WWE and AEW. There's probably been more good shit from Ring of Honor and Impact and New Japan. But personally, my favorite thing to come out of wrestling this weekend that isn't CM Punk's return is K. Cameron Grimes winning the Million Dollar Championship. That is it. That is the fucking shit. I want my intestines to digest that shit for months. Cameron Grimes as Million Dollar Champion has been injected into my fucking veins and I am overdosing on it and I am going to die. Since I made that previous video about Cameron Grimes a few months ago, a lot has changed. For example, all of these guys were still in the WWE when I made that video and now they're not. But for Cameron Grimes, it's really not been much change, except for the fact that he now had to deal with Ted DiBiase's shenanigans and LA Knight happened to steal his heart and the Million Dollar Championship. Then he threw away Ted DiBiase's heart and got himself a butler who also happened to be Cameron Grimes. So Cameron Grimes would uh, spend the next few weeks being LA Knight's butler and some wacky hijinks ensued like Cameron Grimes hitting LA Knight in the dick with a golf club and pushing him in the pool. Those were pretty funny. But of course, Cameron Grimes wasn't meant to be a butler. He was meant to be a champion and not just any champion. He was meant to be a million dollar champion. So Grimes and Knight fought in one last match for the title where, with the help of Ted DiBiase, Cameron Grimes was finally able to win the million dollar championship, baby! What? Finally, after months of tomfoolery from Ted DiBiase and abuse at the hands of LA Knight from when he was a butler, Cameron Grimes finally had the championship he deserved. And all it took was a golf club to the dick. The same day he won the title, Hollow EN Council debuted it, and I, I don't understand why people were so excited about it. Like, bro, none of them have ever held the Million Dollar Championship. But Cameron Grimes, Cameron Grimes is the current Million Dollar Champion, so that means he is better than all of the Hollow Live English girls. Especially, especially this one. I don't know which one it is. I'm just gonna put a random one up on the screen while editing this video. So now that the NXT TakeOver 36 is a thing of the past, let me reiterate once again that Cameron Grimes is fucking awesome. He is fucking money. If you gave him a TV show entirely about him, the ratings will go to the moon. That's kind of where he wants to go. And with that million dollar championship around his waist, that's where he's going. Though I will admit, I don't understand why Cameron Grimes wants to go to the moon when multiple people before him have already gone to the moon. If I were him, I would want to go to Mars or Venus. If I got to choose where I died, I would choose Venus. Sure, it would be fucking painful, but when I go to heaven or hell, I would be able to say that I've been to Venus. Plus, if I died on Venus and went to hell, I wouldn't be going, ow, fuck, it's, it's so hot, why the fuck? I would be completely adjusted to Venus's temperature, and I would actually think hell was cold or something. Wait, fuck, I'm getting distracted. All right, let's get, let's get back to Cameron Grimes. If I were Vince McMahon or Triple H or whoever's running NXT right now, I would have Cameron Grimes hold the million dollar title for the rest of 2021. In fact, no one else, not even Ted DiBiase, should be allowed to even sniff the belt until 2022. Their grubby little dirty hands would absolutely destroy the prestige of the belt if they touched it. The only wrestler that should be exempt from this rule is Baron Corbin, but only because I want a match between him and Grimes. In fact, if these two, if these two don't have at least one segment between the two, it would be the biggest waste of the entire decade of wrestling. You've got millionaire Cameron Grimes swimming in money, and then you got broke-ass Baron Corbin who just wants a little money. Like, come on, it's like they were made for each other. And it's not even like starting the rivalry would be hard either. Just like, have Baron Corbin come on NXT for money, like, I don't know, Johnny Gargano paid him to beat up Dexter Loomis so Indy Hartwell stops liking him or whatever, and then backstage, he he steals the million dollar title from Grimes. They get, like, I don't care that they're on different brands. Make it happen. Ooh, got myself a new shirt. Even if the Corbin thing doesn't happen, I'm still positive Cameron Grimes will be a better million dollar champion than Ted DiBiase. Junior.
All Ted's son did was get his ass kicked by Randy Orton and then get into a rivalry with Hunico because he didn't invite him to one of his parties and then he fucked off. Well, I mean, DiBiase also had a thing with Gold Dust for the million dollar title, but I mean, come on, that dude's elite now, so who cares? Cameron Grimes, however, is gonna make Cody Rhodes and Tony Khan and everyone else in AEW go, you know what, fuck this, and then shut everything down. So once AEW becomes a thing of the past, you can thank and or blame this man. And you know what, you know what, I'm gonna fucking say it. Cameron Grimes is gonna be a better champion than Roman Reigns and Kenny Omega combined. Yeah, I did piss off AEW stands and WWE stands at the same time. The fuck you gonna do about it? Roman Reigns has had a dominant year-long reign with the title beating the likes of Daniel Bryan, John Cena, and Edge, all while having never been pinned this decade. That all sounds impressive and like a really good title reign until you remember that Roman Reigns is the guy that said suffering suck attash on TV. Also, Roman Reigns spent nearly the entirety of the last decade being booed by everyone despite Vince McMahon pushing him as the top babyface of the brand. Even The Rock couldn't stop it. Roman Reigns? More like Roman bitch. And Kenny Omega's AEW title reign. Ooh boy, a championship that he decided was so worthless that he went and got two other championships technically three. Okay, so it turns out one of those belts, uh, the AAA Mega Championship, he actually won that before he won the AEW Championship. So it's actually the AAA Mega Championship that is worthless. Oh, and that last belt, he lost that last belt to someone who almost had a blue dot covering his face because Vince McMahon. Meanwhile, I don't expect Cameron Grimes to say swipe or no swiping like he's fucking Dora, nor do I expect him to go after the NXT Championship or the NXT UK Championship or the NXT North American Championship or the fucking NXT North Korean championship because the million dollar championship is actually fucking valuable. What can I say? The facts don't lie. Cameron Grimes is better than you and you know it. Wait, fuck, that's MJF's thing. So in case you haven't caught on by now, Cameron Grimes is fucking amazing. He has been the best thing in NXT for months. He will be the best thing in NXT for more months and hopefully he does a thing with Baron Corbin. Or alternatively, Cameron Grimes can leave NXT and go to the main roster. Hopefully to SmackDown, because I really want the Baron Corbin Cameron Grimes thing to happen. And also, I don't think Cameron Grimes will be used properly on Raw. And I think I'll end this video off with a little message to Vince McMahon, even though there's like no chance in hell that he's watching this video. See that NXT TakeOver, Vince? That was fucking amazing. NXT is fucking amazing. NXT, in its current state, is fucking amazing. So please, for the love of God, don't fuck with it! Also, Seth getting shitted on was funny.